second show of the day. Thanks for joining me. Today we're talking about Onda by Ellen Villa. Now if you're new here, at the bottom you could click on the squares icon to see what we'll be featuring in today's live. Click on it and learn more about the product. If you add anything to your cart, just don't forget to check out at the end of this live. We don't want you to miss out on any of these amazing styles and colors. These are top selling, top selling colors as well that I'll be getting into. Um, but if you do like what you're seeing, show me some hearts. Give me some love, guys. I love seeing that. Okay, let's just jump into it. This is Onda by Ellen Villa. These are for, this style is for the woman who loves volume. I got this right out of the box. Now I will say this, I did talk or read a little bit of your reviews and some of you did describe that when you get it out of the box, it's not as curly as the pictures that you see online. And it is very true. So with this one, what I did is I added a little bit of water and some detangling spray made specifically for synthetic wigs. What I did is I just kind of used my fingers. I didn't brush it. Definitely don't do that. If you have to brush it in any way, make sure you use a wide tooth comb. And I like to use one of those combs that have the point at the end and then I just kind of take the, the ringlets and kind of separate the curls. And then I'll take my fingers and kind of style it more to make it look more like the picture if you want that more voluminous look. So this color right here that I'm wearing is called Bahama Beige. Let me get a little closer. This is a medium honey blonde. You have light ash blonde and you have the lightest reddish brown blend with a dark root. So it's got some warmth to it, lots of dimension, lots of contrast. Ellen does such a good job on all of her colors because there is so much dimension. It just looks super natural. So in my opinion, out of the three, this is one of my favorites. Again, this is Bahama Beige Shaded. But take a look at the back, just so you guys can see how much curl there is. And I just kind of separated the curls a little bit to style it how I would wear it. Now let's talk about the cap, because that's always important when searching for a wig, what's right for you? Now I always look for something that has a lace front, either a mono part or a mono top. So this one actually has a mono part. Let me show you the lace. There you go. So this one do, it does look a little lighter on my skin tone. What I would do, if you have skin tone like me, just use a little bit of your makeup or foundation, preferably some powder, and put it on your fingertip and just kind of press it into your skin. A little bit will go a long way, and the more you wear it throughout the week, it'll kind of build up there and look really, really seamless. So keep that in mind. Now, the mono part, I wanna to talk to you about this because one of your reviews did state that when you got it, the part was almost like in the middle and you can see all the wefting. So let me show you the inside of the cap. You have the mono part right there, open weftings on the sides and back and that lace front. And you can see that it's a side part. It's not a middle part. So if you get your wig out of the box and it's in the middle, you're definitely going to see the wefting. So let me show you what that looks like if you don't have it parted right there. You'll be able to see all this wefting and it's not attractive. You definitely don't want that. Okay. So there's the wefting. It's not the mono part. So if you have it parted right there, you're, you're going to see that. Right here on me, I have it parted right in that side part area. And you kind of want to look inside the cap too when you're parting, that way you can get it exact. And there you go, it looks just like your scalp if you have it parted in the mono part area. Okay, so next is this color. I love this color, let me scoot back a little bit. This one is the Cream Blonde Shaded. You have pure white blended with dark honey blonde and a light honey blonde with a light beige blonde blends, and again, a dark root. So it looks super natural. This is gonna be lighter than the one that I'm wearing, but it still has some warmth to it. Let me put it up next to me. There you go. Can you guys see that? This one's a little warmer, darker, still has some ash in it. This one definitely has both of the contrasty, contrasted colors, but it's warmer. And then moving on to this next color is called Platin Blonde 
shaded. This is the lightest out of the three. And you have that pearl platinum, light golden blonde, and a pure white blend. You can see how nicely it moves. Now these are petite average, so I always suggest getting your measurements. It's very important. If you are an average or an average large, I would not suggest getting this wig because it's going to be very, very snug on you. But you can see how nice and light density. It's really, really light on my head, guys. Like I don't feel like I'm wearing a wig at all. The lace isn't itchy. The curls feel really good in this synthetic fiber. Again, Ellen Villa does such a good job with all of her wigs that I'm a fan, guys. This is Onda by Ellen Villa. Top three colors, you have the Bahama Bay shaded. You have the cream blonde in this one shaded. And then you also have the last one, which is the lightest. And that is the Platin Blonde shaded. There you go. That's our show, guys. Be sure to check out at the end of this live. If you feel like you're just now joining us and you missed our shows, you can always go to wigs.com slash live. You can also go to our YouTube page. I will be posting another video and you can comment below and let me know your thoughts. Okay, I'll see you on Thursday. Bye guys.